Well, joining us tonight is Republican House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Uh, you know, I have to say, Congressman, th that's an extraordinary decision on the part of CNN, even by its standards, uh, to do that. Uh, but political bias being absent uh, in in the origins of this this assault on the presidency is stunning to me. I, I look at it as a pure whitewash at the uh, at the very uh, inception of the inspector general's report. How could you not find bias uh, in what the, the the FBI and the Justice Department and even in uh, international agencies? Uh, obviously conspired to do. Well, when you look at this report, Lou, you are 100% right. Look at how many times they were found that they did something wrong. More than 17 major items in there. And remember, they always went one direction. They always went against this president, never for him. They spied on this president, unheard of in this country. This is the closest we have ever come to having a coup in this country. And we have to make sure this can never happen again. I don't care what side you're on, but what they have done by being a law enforcement agency inside America to use that for their own purpose, their own political gain, is wrong. It's wrong, and it's, it's been destructive of this president's uh, first three years in office. They spied on him from the middle of 2016, uh, in the middle of a presidential uh, campaign. It is stunning stuff, and yet, instead of the two parties coming together to condemn it, we see the radical Dems exploiting it and using it as a as another uh, avenue with which uh, to attack the president uh, and to obstruct his his agenda. It's outrageous what the radical Dems are responsible for in this in this historic, uh, notorious act against the presidency. Remember this, though, too. It's not just the president, because remember who they called those who support the president back then? They called them deplorables. Mm -hmm. Now they want to disqualify their votes by trying to impeach them. It's, it, it's not, they just dislike the president, and they dislike your viewers, they dislike me. They like, dislike everything about us in the instance yeah. of what we believe in, in the idea of freedom that America is more than a country, America is an idea. It's appalling to me, because the criteria that Speaker Pelosi set out, if you're going to impeach a president, it has to be overwhelming, compelling, and bipartisan. They don't meet one of those criteria to move right. forward. They have no facts. They change the entire system, just as we finding out in this IG report to kind of rig the system against this president. And lo and behold, when they come out of it, the American public see the truth, and they're opposed to it as well. You know, the American people have a lot to, to pay attention to in all of this. And, and, and by the way, just there's issue after issue here to deal with. But I think the American people uh, have no problem just simply uh, looking at one fact, and that is that the FBI never once warned the president of no. any suspicion that there was uh, a Russian uh, influence anywhere in his campaign. Uh, indeed, it, pr it was proved that there was not. But the fact that they did not go to the president himself, or at least some member of his campaign somewhere, and, and carry out a, a defensive briefing. Uh, if we may, let's, let's listen to uh, uh, Graham on uh, Lindsey Graham, the, the head of the Judiciary Committee on this very issue. Was there ever a defensive briefing given by the FBI Department of Justice to Donald Trump about the concerns? Uh, there was not. What would you call a counterintelligence investigation that never had a protective element? Um, I'm not sure. Sorry. Did they ever try to protect Donald Trump from foreign influence? They did not. They did not. And how in the world, the fact that he doesn't know what you would call a, a, that kind of a surveillance operation on a president. Can, can you imagine there being a surveillance operation against the president of the United States and his campaign without the full knowledge of everyone, every head of every agency, principal agency in the intelligence community, without the certain uh, knowledge of the attorney general uh, and the president of the United States as well? You know what they did do? Not only did they not tell this president when they had a responsibility to, you know who they did talk to? They talked to the Russians. They told the Russians and called them, but they never talked to this president. 
They had a responsibility as one, he's the nominee to become the leader of the free world. They go before him and then they bring people in to try to spy on him and then they lie about the outcome and they give that falsifying to go to the FISA court to continue this further after he is elected president. That's why I say, Lou, this is the closest this country has ever come to having a coup. Yeah, and, and, and the effort, by the way, is unrelenting. Yes. No one should uh, mistake uh, what this, uh, this impeachment process is from the House. Uh, these two weak uh, and, and ludicrous charges against him, uh, notwithstanding, the radical Dems want to overthrow this president because they know full well that once all of the facts are out, or at least most of the facts are out, about the special counsel, about the witch hunt, as the president called it, against it, the efforts to overthrow him, and then this, this mad uh, impeachment farce, uh, the American people are going to reject the Democrats, and uh, I, I believe, at every level of government in the polls in November. Look, they loathe this president so much because they know they're going to lose to him. But you are correct. They started from the very beginning. Remember when they took the majority? You had um, Nadler campaign for the position of chairman of the committee that oversees impeachment by saying he would be the best for impeachment. These new freshman Democrats that came in, on the day they were sworn in that night, they said they were going to impeach the mother. Yeah. You had Adam Schiff continuing to lie. Remember when he came before America to said we were, that the, he was so upset he thought the administration was going to withhold a whistleblower from coming forth? The only reason America has not heard from this so-called whistleblower is because Adam Schiff has held them back. Why? Because Adam Schiff lied to the American public about whether he even knew who the whistleblower was because he met with them. This is what they're building this house of cards on. Nothing but lie after lie because all they want to do is try to impeach this president because they know they cannot defeat him in the polls. And that's all they've done for three, well, more than three and a half years. Is lie and, and lie and lie. Uh, Congressman, look, I mean, yes. I, I'm sorry. Go ahead, please. But look how successful this president has been. Now he just got United States, Mexico, and Canada trade agreement, which no one said was possible. This right. is the art of the deal. Business schools will study what this president has been able to accomplish against all of this making the strongest economy, rebuilding our military. Think about how much more we can do as a nation if we did not have a majority, all they ever want to do and impeach. The only thing they can say is they have issued more subpoenas than they created laws. Congressman, with that, thank you for being with us. Always good to talk with you. Thank you.